we're, what we need to do now is to check the other parts of the rig that needs to be fixed. So if I take the leg here and I take the other leg and pull it aside, you can see that definitely the parts of the torso need some adjusting here. And that's definitely the same thing for the, for the back here as well. Same thing. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the uh, rigging tab and under skin, I'm going to go to paint skin weights. Now let's see what's going on here. We're going to first off try to smooth everything out. So I'm going to keep smooth selected and I'm going to see what is influencing the torso here. So definitely here by doing pretty much nothing and just clicking on smooth and flood a couple of times you can try to see what happens try to soften things a little bit uh, not everything the, these parts here so flood a couple of times and let's see now what we can do so now i'm going to go and replace and then put the value on one and then paint by hand up until i feel that the um, region that i'm interested in is recreating the shape that i need okay and i'm gonna paint all the area here that i want to be influenced by this specific joint here just to fix things a little bit you know and probably this area here as well and then again once more I'm just gonna go to smooth and then flood a couple of times and see what happens. If I take the controller here, you can definitely see that less of the area is being taken from the um, stomach area, which is good. Same thing on this side. There are definitely some areas that still need improving. And obviously this is still not production ready but you get the idea of what needs to happen how you need to adjust things in order to get a rig that's working so definitely if your dragon is trying to jump like this you can get the torso completely bulging out like this so i press and press y on my keyboard and then again try to find which of the joints are controlling this part so chest and in the chest i'm going to switch the value and replace one and just paint this area to have more of an influence from the chest and here the name of the game is to be patient and to be able to grab all the pieces of geometry that you need in order to make this work I'm gonna go back to smooth and smooth a couple of times again I'm painting some more of the influence for the chest area. Perhaps I should have a bit of a wider area selected here. And obviously what you can see is happening now. It's way more realistic in terms of the areas that are affected. Now I have some issues here in the back that need fixing. Click replace and 
quick not to replace but smooth smooth things out a bit and like so maybe it's also easier to extend the limbs sometimes like this put them in a position that is easier to control and paint again And you keep going like this up until you're happy with the results, overall results you're getting. Fortunately, there is no quick way about this. You just need to spend the time. And then at a specific point in time, when you start animating and such, you will see that some areas are maybe a little bit problematic. And the point is that, you know, you take it from there, so you test your rig, test your skinning to see if everything is going somewhere. You give it a go, an animation, you know, to see if things are moving. Like, for example, here I have some movement that's happening around here that I don't want. Now I need to check why. Because this is linked to something that's around here and I don't want this so I'm gonna paint it out put it on zero and try to grab the problematic area smooth a couple of times get more of an easy access to the problematic region something like that then select the control and you can see it's not moving and you need to do like that for most of the regions of your of your of your rig you get the point And so once you've done all of that and that you're happy, you've obviously moved your um, some of your controls at a weird position. And if you want to bring them all back, there is an option here. There's a quick option here that says go to build pose and if you click that, boom, everything gets back into your build position. Would be a good time to save now and there is one more thing I want to show you before the very end here. And that's the scale of the control curves here. So you have an option where you have the control curves here under um, advanced skeleton and what you can do is actually scale all of the controls. So switch them to two and say scale. And what happens is that when you have your control selected, it's just going to scale it out if it's too small to be selected. Because as you noticed, I had trouble selecting many times this 
control here and i guess that an animator that takes this and starts to animate it will be struggling as well so it's best to go through this controller and then to scale that, scale that out there is also another one here so i'm going to hit ctrl h on my keyboard so like this one and this one is very important it's controlling the spine this one as well this one this one and this one I'm just going to click scale it's going to scale all of these controls out go all and then control shift h to show last hidden I'm going to say show joints, remove the joints for a second and see if it's, you know, it's much better and easier to select, you know, parts of your rig like this. Yeah. So obviously this is not finished, but it gives you a very good idea on how to rig a quadruped character and get it ready for production.